Britton Wilson of Arkansas here after NCAA and American record in the 400 meters indoors. How do you feel about that result? Um, I'm really, really happy, really proud of myself. Um, I just wanted to run a clean race and execute and just give my best. So just being able to do that and run the record was really exciting. Yeah, what was your strategy? Because you had Talitha in your heat mm -hmm. and obviously both of you guys are going to be going out. Or we think you're going to go out pretty hard. So what was yeah. your strategy with that? Um, just to run clean. I know Talitha is a really strong runner like speed wise. So um, she, I knew she was going to get out and just to stay clean to the break and you know make my move when it was efficient enough so I was really just trying to run a, a clean race yeah yeah this was a big improvement on your personal best so where, where do you think that came from <laughs> um, just determination you know I've worked really hard it's been a really rough start to the year so just being able to um, keep myself grounded and do what I know I can do even though I had a rough start to the year was really exciting for me and just made me feel proud of myself what was rough about it um, I have stress reactions in my shins <laughs> so um, it's been a really painful year I was out for like six weeks um, trying to get them better so uh, it's just been a rough healing from that but just coming back and training I've been giving my all at practice so just being able to come off of that injury and still come out and do this has just been really um, eye-opening and exciting for me. So there was an, in both shins? In both shins yeah. And when did you miss the time? Um, it was like from preseason, so around like September to the end of December-ish. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I was out for a while and I was cross training. So um, coming back was kind of hard just managing like, oh, is it pain? Like, is it still the stress reaction or is it like, do I run through the pain? So just training was really rough for the first few months. But coming back, I just knew like, give my best, even if I'm in pain, still try. So mm -hmm. that's what I was trying to do, just do my best. Do you think a time that you ran today, I mean, did you think that sort of time was possible going in? Um, yeah, <laughs> it's definitely been a goal of mine to run sub 50, you know, just in my career. I didn't know if it would happen at this meet so it's just kind of surprising myself to see that I did it today but uh, it's always been a goal of mine so yeah so what do you think this means for outdoors 400 mm -hmm. rules? Um, I think it means um, I run really fast <laughs> I think I've um, definitely improved my speed which was what I definitely wanted to improve going into the 400 hurdles because I know I have the strength um, especially with the 800 but the speed thing was my biggest thing so I know that I have more speed now so I think that'll definitely translate over to the 400 hurdles I mean the event's been getting so much publicity with Sydney and all her world records but yeah. Tim Cabal broke the 400 hurdles her, I mean, the 400 indoor record. You were second all time. Do you guys? Do you think you two can get up and challenge her? Uh, absolutely. I'm really excited to run with her again. You know, we kind of built a little friendship at Worlds this past summer, so I'm just excited to get the chance to see her and compete with her again. It'll definitely push me to be better. So the 400 hurdles. That'll, you think that'll definitely be the event you're focusing on outdoors? You wouldn't yeah, think about doing yeah, yeah. the 400 I mean, flat. Yeah. I want to run the 400 flat too. That's that's my favorite. So, um, but I love the hurdles too. I want to get the chance to do both. But I think going into like bigger championship meets, I'll probably focus on the hurdles. Gotcha. And why? Why did you do, you know, you did a 600, you did an 800 earlier this year. Mm -hmm. What was the thinking running those over distance races? Um, it was honestly for my shins. Uh, we wanted to just get the endurance work um, and not do too much pounding with all the speed stuff and speed training. So that's kind of why we did the 600. That was actually my first race coming back from the injuries. Um, and then the 8 was kind of just like a for fun thing. <laughs> um, and it turned out to be really fun. I actually enjoyed running it. I hope to run it again. Really? Yeah, I liked it. Because most people moving up to the 800 <laughs> say that it's not a fun race. So no, it like was hard. It was hard for sure. But I, I like how it's just a completely different feel than the four. The four is a full sprint and the eight is more of like a pace. Mm -hmm. um, it hurts and it's hard, but I actually didn't hate it. <laughs> Do you think doing those over distance races, does that help your 400? I think, yeah. I think that it just um, helps speed on my, build on my strength and endurance. And I think that that's something that you need to have going to the four and the four hurdles. So I think that it kind of all ties together. All right. Good. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate <laughs> Thank it. You.